Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! You white oh, now it's smashed. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! What? Lost your nerve? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife? How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? 
I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on blooded sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? 
a cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. The merciful gods... Test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck.
want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Clothing. 
they change in here? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here and going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Slow now. days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kiddie. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw him, 
fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did death. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Remember me. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Baron gets soused. He gets angry. He's always drinking. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which... Know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zerikania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss, it must hurt, bad. 
But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier? Taken them all from this damned felon? In this hole? This reesty mire? Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak.
Die Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it! Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death! Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut him down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down. Man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him.
Thistle. Thistle. Shanana King. So you're Gretka? I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Gonna kill the monsters. All of them. So Siri was here. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Geralt! Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. I'm not ready. I'm helping. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. What do they call you? Know how to fight? Geralt. And yes. <laughs> then enter the lists, my friend. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk. Fish Gulp has finally found a foe. Right here, right now, on the field of honor, he'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the uh, Hammer! Spare me a minute to fold the fight, Master. Please! 
cut of your mugs plain as day. What am I beside ye? I just want to live. These days, streams are bereft, no fish for me to gulp. And they's given a sack of flour to the winner. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, you gotta beat me. Yes, we might have known. The Witcher took Fish Gulper and Fish Plowed his job. Near warm my heart to see him renovate his head. Not bad, not bad. Time to try your luck against Jonah. And then there's Smithy at the Inn of the Crossroads. Go to it, friend. Hey, Fish Gulper, what do you want? I had to win, but I don't want your family to go hungry. Here, take the purse. That's... why... thank you, Master. <laughs> so mad he's trying to grip me. Ye deaf? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witchers coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over, then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had but did not yet know about. Then he left. And here the door swung shut behind him. My lass started wailing. What's these tears? I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eat her guts, that fornicated freak. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it from a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell them about me, please. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village, cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind, special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Ought to take him to the village elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. 
I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. We know each other? Not personal like, though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He enters an endless cavern. He sings a hymn of madness and despair, summoning that which is not dead, for he cannot die. That's not the future. Lived through that, and you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Oh, you're back. Wanted to ask you. I... I play Gwent. And I... We can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because it's selective like, only applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will ever shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win a Gwent. Let's lay him out. the soothsayer's lot. I know where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. A beautiful win. Take this card, you deserve it. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Hadi. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him, but don't let that fool ye. Dragon's root. Wonder if it can really help the old man see the future. Oh, you're back. Got what you asked for. Thank ye. Now I need a moment. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower, midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As do others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood, of hen Iker, of a planted seed. Ethelene's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. Thank you. 
fast. What was this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refuse to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing. Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, fat girl. My coin lies concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Farewell. <laughs>